Dr. Axe, you recently talked about the chemicals in Roundup and how toxic they are. What can we do to make sure our food is safe to eat? Well, I would just say this. One, it's impossible to know for sure, but I would say buy organic. That's one way we know that uh, the organic certification tends to be very well tested. And, and organic foods tend to have much, much less chemicals than conventional. So my first answer is, buy organic. My second answer is know your local farmer. One of the things Chelsea and I do is we go to our local farmer's market in Franklin, Tennessee, where we're able to meet the farmers, ask them ourselves. And also, I think just just be able to really taste the food. So that's another thing uh, is we're able to taste the freshness. And oftentimes you can see with when you're buying from a conventional grocery store, not organic, there's there's these peels on there, and, and there, there are just more issues there. So there's no doubt, generally speaking, eating organic yourself uh, or buying organic food, shopping at your local farmer's market and ha- having a relationship and asking the farmers themselves. The third thing is, is making sure you're washing your food once you get it, okay? And also knowing about the Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. You know, certain foods like strawberries and lettuce have very, very high levels of chemicals versus something like a grapefruit that has a thick peel you have to take off. That's the rule of thumb if you're wondering. Think about this. Strawberries, you're just, you're eating the flesh. When you are eating a banana or a grapefruit or even certain types of uh, of vegetables that grow in the ground, so they're, they're, they're not going to be sprayed as much like carrots. And so, you know, I would say no, the dirty dozen clean 15, wash off your fruits and vegetables. And my last piece of advice is, and sometimes this can be a little bit challenging, but when you can try and do a little bit of gardening yourself or even an herb garden, one of the things Chelsea and I love doing is having fresh basil and things grow in our own garden and, uh, and doing that certain times of year. So that's for the advanced level person. If you can do your or, or own garden, but generally buy from your local farmer's market, buy organic. And by the way, meat and dairy products that are non-organic tend to be the most toxic along with that dirty dozen. And that's not talked about a lot. We talk about the dirty dozen, but not meat and dairy. Meat and dairy should be wild or organic or pasture raised and free of chemicals. And so when you're buying meat and dairy, by the way, if you could only buy two things organically, it should be meat products. And then if you do dairy, we don't really do that. I do coconut milk instead, but that's what I would recommend is meat. Uh, Did you know that 80% of antibiotics uh, consumed today are consumed by livestock? So especially cows. So if you're eating beef that's not organic, you are getting a lot of hormones. You're getting growth hormone. You're getting uh, oftentimes estrogen. You're getting genetically modified feed. You're getting uh, you know, a lot of the, or- the non-organic, the chemicals that are sprayed into the food they're eating. So uh, that's, that's one thing to keep in mind is that meat, uh, if, it's, if, it's, if it's wild and grass-fed, it's great. If it is not, you really want to stay away from it, even more than produce. So I ho- hope those tips help you for staying away from chemicals, including Roundup. Because again, think about this. If you have an animal eating corn that's sprayed with Roundup, well, then you're going to be getting that via you know, the, the meat you're eating. And so you really want to stay away from non-organic meat as much as you can. Hey, if you liked this, then watch my full episode right here.